Good morning, good morning. I think it's day four. I'm losing track of days, but I think it's day four. And we are going to probably my favorite park of the day, which is Universal. So I'm tired, but I've got oxy shred in my system. I'm gonna go and shake off these heavy legs. I probably feel like this might not help, but I've got an agreement with the coach. I was doing 25 minutes of cardio twice a week towards the end just to lower the, the fatigue on the legs going into the end of the dieting phase obviously now i'm on holiday eating a bit more i still want to keep up them two runs just light so yeah i'm going to go and get this run done it's still pretty cool this morning so i'd rather get it done now than thinking about doing it later so yeah let's get this run done in my new Alpha Fly Freeze, which are by far probably the best running shoe I've ever had. So let me drop the GoPro. There's a little runners community going on here. There's a fair few people actually running around, I've noticed. So yeah, I'm gonna whack my headphones on and get running. So we are off to Universal Studios today, which is probably gonna be my favorite park. It's like nine o'clock now, so Lawrence just finishing getting ready and then we're gonna head over there. It's meant to be really hot today, but I can't wear a vest every day. I only brought three with me, which is a rookie mistake because the weather keeps changing. It keeps saying it might rain, then it doesn't rain. So I'm just gonna wear this little outfit, this little number here with some cargo shorts and then these limited edition blazers. So yeah, let's go to Universal. And here we are, Universal Studios. Let's go. So cool. Yeah. Right, we are actually going for dinner over at Chucky Borium. I think it's tonight, so I'll show you what that's like. You have to pre book that quite early in advance. But here we are, Universal Studios Florida. Let's let the fun begin. So in here is all the interactive games, so you've got like all different, obviously minion stuff, malicious motors, this is more my thing, I guess you can play around with the cars, chokey like, smash. It's quite cool to be fair though, isn't it? Yeah, well, in the corner over there I don't even know what that ride's called but I'm sure I'll find out at some point we've got like the Jimmy Fallon NBC stuff and then we've got Bake My Day and Illuminations so yeah let's have a look in Bake My Day so this is the Bake My Day stuff where you can get loads of little sweets and treats and everything is pink there's pick -a mix there's all uh, minion themed cupcakes etc. Let me just show you around here. You can get like a first fill cup. Which would be quite cool for my dad to be fair. My dad loves the minions funny enough. And then you've got all these sweets and then I'll show you the cupcakes and stuff. It's all minion for The Minion Cafe. And I'm gonna get down into like NBC, the Jimmy Fallon ride. So at Freeze Pops, obviously we've got ice cream, different speciality ice pops. All minion themes, like chocolate one, Halloween ones. 
so this is the Jimmy Fallon race through New York so we're gonna see what this is like When the sign goes orange and you've got a card, you go right upstairs. the camera onto the ride but the mummy ride was so good it was like scenes like the roof was on fire and you could feel the heat and it was winding it was like an indoor roller coaster but it was unbelievable so i definitely recommend doing that if you come to orlando universal studios so finnegan's was highly recommended to have a look at we're not actually going to eat yet but i'll just show you the menu shout out jack if you watch this authentic irish american food They've got everything. But. So, I'm absolutely devastated because the uh, Fast and Furious ride is not on. However, I've got some cookies and cream style frappuccino. Which is going down well, but gutted about Formula One. I mean, Formula One Fast and Furious. Gutted about Formula One as well yesterday, but anyway, let's go and get on some more rides. So this is the Fast and Furious shop. You get little toy model cars, die car stuff, all that car parts. Obviously if you're a petrol head, this is where you need to come. All the cars from all the film. Which is pretty cool. My car, probably the Supra. Which one? The Supra, the orange one. I'm sure. Oh. That one? The Yeah. Yeah. But that's in a new film. I picked something from the old film. That was a cool car. I love this one. But yeah, there are loads of stuff. For some reason, that the, the ride isn't actually on at the minute, which is pretty shit. But here's what it is. And then they got like little key rings, little mechanics, little posters. Little key rings. Yeah, I was just looking at them a minute ago. Yeah, it's all the stuff for money when it's gonna be spelt wrong, isn't it? But yeah, and then they've got the the hemi truck in here as well, which is pretty cool. Hey, treat, treat. 
we've got chocolate chip cookies, croissants, danish, and hot chocolate, yeah, tofu bowls, chocolate eclairs, the mini, the mini confetti head looks cool, don't it? So that was in the San Francisco Pastry Company. Right, so we are at King's Cross, which is very clean for King's Cross. And then Leicester Square over there is uh, probably the cleanest Leicester Square you'll ever see. So I think we're coming up to like Diagon Alley, but over there is Crusty Land, we'll get to that. And then there's So here we are, Diagon Alley. I've never been a huge Potter fan, if I'm honest, but Lauren likes it, so we're here. We've got the Leaky Cauldron over there. What else have we got? Wizard Wheels. It is pretty cool, I can't lie. You just come through like some random wall and you're like in here, which is pretty sick to be fair. But let me not wear too far in case I lose Lauren. been uh, queuing up for some time but we are inside Green Box Bank and hopefully we'll be on the ride soon. And this is where we go for the butter and viral butter, butter beer. Cool. You get water and then you can get different potions and then you pour the potion into the drink. They, are, they have different flavors. Obviously they're different flavors. And then in here is the money exchange. So let's go check that out. Check out something that was very solid to me. some fudges and then all have a of things chocolates and sweets so here you have wands which I'm pretty sure are like chocolate wands that you can eat so fine wands fashioned from so I'm not sure these all look like in here you can get all different types kind of reminds me of like a cigar shop So men in, from Darwin Alley, so men in black.
men in black ride, it broke down when we was on it, but they gave us two fast pass things, so we will use them later, but yeah, luckily it was at the end, it got stuck, so it wasn't actually that bad. Still got to experience the whole ride, but uh, there's me and, me and Lauren. <laughs>
Thank God this ride is over. Right. Here we go again. Well, that's our ride. Hey, what does this do? <laughs> <laughs> Here's in the cookie minute. Mm -hmm. Shoot it, Daddy. Stop there. So you've got Lisa's tea house, Luigi's. You've got Luigi's, obviously pizza. This looks really good. Little mini pizzas in there. Some cooking over there. And then the Brian Dutchman. We've got Celtic's chicken shack, which is obviously all chicken. You've got like a chicken and waffle sandwich, grilled to be grilled chicken sandwich, double chicken platter, etc. And then the OG, you've got Krusty's burgers, and that's got like Krusty's burgers, cobbler burgers, mother nature, all different types of burgers and hot dogs to be fair. And then they do a pretzel bun with duff cheese sauce. And then you've got Flame and Moe's, which is all kind of drinks I'm guessing. Looks like it anyway. Yeah you've got like groovy groove juice, Mr. Teeny, and then the flame of Moe's which is a signature speciality drink of Springfield. It's non-alcoholic. Don't really know what it is but it looks like that picture there. You've got Krusty's burgers, I'm not sure what that is in the corner. You've got the taco shop name. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so we have got the world's biggest pink donut from Lard Lads Donuts. And for context, how big this is, like literally the size of my head. You all like this. Oh, it's like super strawberry tasting. Beautiful, it was eleven dollars though, but highly recommend. They've got their own little mini Central Park. I've run around the real Central Park, but this is pretty cool. And then we've got an animal actors over here. We're not going to be watching that. Little drink tree fill. You get your face paint, some tattoos. I don't know if they're real tattoos, but it says henna. Oh, airbrush tattoos. And then you've got ETs over here with Spongebob. That's pretty cool. And then a DreamWorks thing over there. So now we are going on the ET ride. The classic. Let's go.
there, Yonder. Whoa! <laughs> Got him. At the bottom of the hill.
And yeah, in here we've got ice cream, the tetra. Yeah, it's like the old ice cream shop in New York. You get lots of different snacks and stuff. Question, 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 and thank you. Anywho, well, one moment. Mm -hmm. This is good, but tell the Fario, add more dynamite. I want a bigger boom. You didn't hear that. Anyway, yes, you will be turned into minions. Months ago, my chief scientist, Dr. Nefar. So from Studio Suites inside the Universal Stu Studios store, we got, it looks dead, I can't lie, but we're going to try and see what it's in. We'll give it a five. It tastes more like a biscuit, like a shortbread. Yeah. Mid, not the best. It says it's white chocolate, but it doesn't taste anything like white chocolate. So, it's a five. So we actually have a book in here at 9.30 with dessert um, in candy place called the Tooths and Chocolate Emporium. It's like a dinner spot slash sweet place. So I'm just going to go in and see if we can eat early because if not we might have to leave this to another day. So now we are in City Walk. We've got some time to go because we actually can get into the chocolate factory early so we're just having a little look around here see what's going on, see what food place is here. So this is the little mini model map of Epic Universe which is coming in 2025 which is pretty cool to be fair. You can like download the app and have a look at what they're doing. It's gonna have Harry Potter, uh, Dragon, Celestial Park, Super Nintendo, Dark Universe, and it looks humongous. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. 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 Yeah, Is this? So this is going to be the new theme park in 2025. So we got in early at the Chocolate Emporium. Some appetizers, flatbreads, salads. We've got the brunch menu, which is served all day. So now that throws the spanner in the works because I love French toast. Passes and entrees and cocktails and mocktails. There's a drink list, but I'm not interested in that. But Lauren has got oh my the milkshake list, which is endless. And then some of the dessert selection that is going on here is mental. So I've got French toast burger with a sunny side up egg and chips. And Lauren has got the mushroom, Wild mushroom chicken risotto. Yeah, wow. Look at that. So let's get a bit of everything. I've lost my knife. So we've got egg, French toast, and beef. Mm. This is a must have if you come here. What are you buying yours? I'm giving mine a nine as well. Right. The layers. You can even see underneath all of this. It's unbelievable. 
That's my first time trying mushroom risotto. That's really nice. I wouldn't say it's better than wine, but it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Did you have any other chicken? I don't need to try chicken. I want chicken taste like fun. But yeah, well, I'll see you at dessert. Right, so I went with the confetti shake, which is an absolute monstrosity. Look at that. And Lauren went with the strawberry cheesecake one. Anyway, um... <laughs> oh my word. This is 10 10. Anyway, the, um, Lauren's getting a picture. The food I had before is in my top three best things I've ever eaten in my life. This, after Lauren's taking a picture, I'll give you my taste test. I just wanna. Cake is good. You're not the best. Mm. I'm going to give it a seven. Nice. But the food that I had before this was definitely ranked up nine, nine, and actually no, I'm gonna say 9.5 because it's in the top three things I've ever eaten.